Well, hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Sorry it's been so long since the last one. It has been, it's been a while, probably a month. Uh, been working 40 plus hours a week and trying to ship out stuff on eBay here and there and do a little bit, but the videos have kind of have fell to the back burner. So I apologize for that. Uh, if you're still subscribed, thank you. Really appreciate you sticking around. <laughs> Uh, right now I'm actually working on trying to list some of my backlogged Christmas stuff because it's about that time of year so I put put some of these together um, these are kind of valuable these old uh, Christmas by Krebs ornaments so I'm gonna try to sell these for Christmas and I got these aren't really worth much but I'm gonna go try to sell them these like these little old-school bulbs uh, so I'll try to sell those and then these, these ornaments I'm gonna try to get rid of them now so I'm gonna try to bust all these ornaments out and then get this stuff listed for christmas because you know this is if you're going to sell it now's the time so if you have any christmas stuff sitting around that you want to sell better get it listed thankfully i don't have a ton of christmas stuff to list uh just because if it doesn't sell then it will probably take forever to sell so um this this is probably not this out in about i don't know maybe 20 minutes i'll have all this stuff listed hopefully and uh, then maybe I can talk to you guys about some of the stuff that I have sold uh, to give you guys a little bit of uh, catch you guys up on a little on a few things that I have sold um, recently. Uh, nothing great. There hasn't been any outstanding sales, but some things that are kind of cool, I guess. And uh, I'll let you know what some of those are. So I just got done listing that first group of ornaments. Actually, this might not take me very long at all because I'm going to lot them together. I'm not going to sell them individually, so if they're similar, I'm just going to sell them together. Hopefully I get rid of a bunch of them at once because they are ornaments and I want them gone before Christmas. So, but something I did sell, uh, I always look for these whenever I'm going to thrift stores or yard sales or whatever, but I'm sure most of you do too. But this is, uh, I sold one of these, I hope you can see it on there. It's one of those big screen handheld devices, kind of like an old school, like, you know, solitaire game or something. Those things tend to sell pretty pretty well, uh, especially the ones that have the larger screens, the more the more modern ones. Uh, this one sold for twenty nine ninety nine plus shipping, and I probably only bought it for a few dollars, so that was a great flip. So as I'm sitting here listing these, I'm like, man, this one right here has got to be worth something, right? This is like a nineteen ninety six Barbie ornament. You would think that it would be worth something. It ain't really. It ain't really worth much. I figured with the Barbie movie, maybe that'd be you know like a, a good seller or something but not really and to share something else that sold uh relatively recently i finally got around to listing that remote i don't know if you remember in an old video it was a logitech uh smart remote or something and it ended up did did sell it for 24.99 plus they paid shipping it's a all-in-one universal remote so uh i think i only paid a couple dollars for that and that was an easy quick sell i just put batteries in it and test it and list it I mean, you know, it's little things like that that, you know, make this keep going because like you 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 only drop a couple of dollars into an item, you get 25, 30 bucks for it and it, you know, it keeps you trucking along until you eventually sell something that's like really worthwhile. But though having those those good ROIs on those small items is nice cuz they're easy to ship and they're quick quick buck, quick $20 really. All right, well I got one last thing to list for the Christmas stuff. And that's these uh, vintage bulbs. These are like old school, like Kmart. Uh, Pre-tested painted Christmas lately. I got the old school screw in type. I think these, these don't sell for much, but I think somebody will probably buy these. Um, they've been selling, but just not for a lot. So I had them in a big old tub and I'm going to list them and hopefully they'll sell before Christmas. But another thing that has sold recently and, and something to kind of think about at this time of year, if you're new or, if, or whatever, if you're looking for advice, um, try to try to find stuff that's new in packaging this time of year because it tends to sell a lot better um, around Christmas time. Um, I've had these dyno trucks rep to ro rep to rollers for a while um, and all of a sudden they started picking up on sales. It did run a sale. It was 30% off, but um, they have been selling a little bit faster than usual. I think I'm about out of them. And, uh, you know, the Christmas time, people are looking for gifts. They're not really looking for used items. So uh, try to lean towards uh, packaged things. Uh, it's probably going to boost your sales and sell faster this time of year. And uh, I was just going to ask, I don't know if your eBay stores have been slow. Mine has been very slow. Uh, 
The only thing that's been really been selling is a couple of small things, video games here and there, and what I've showed you guys. Um, but let me know in the comments, is your, is your store doing good? And, and if it is, what is selling well right now? And well, I believe that's gonna do it for this video, guys. I just wanted to record something today and try to get it up in the same day. I haven't done one in so long. Uh, I wanted to get out something to the subscribers, uh, let you guys know I still plan on making videos. Uh, I would like to come up with a better routine for coming out frequently. Once a week was my goal, but it's hard to do whenever you're working five days a week. So with that being said, I'll see you on the next one and I appreciate you sticking around.